Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous video, I had completed the topic of row level security policies in PostgreSQL database. And in this video, we are going to cover the topic of schemas in PostgreSQL. So what is a schema? A schema is a logical namespace within a database that contains objects such as tables, views, indexes, sequence, and so on. And schemas help organizing and managing database objects efficiently. And they are similar to directories in an operating system, but they cannot be nested. So we'll see uh, shortly how we create schema and other things and how they cannot be nested. So let's see the hierarchy in PostgreSQL, how schema is arranged in PostgreSQL database. A database cluster contains multiple databases. Here we can see that this is a database cluster. Within this cluster, we have multiple databases. One is company database and one is Postgres database. And again, within one database, we can have multiple schemas. So within this database, we have one schema as of now because we know whenever a database is created, one default schema gets created with the name as public. So here we will create multiple schema going forward in this video and we know that each schema can contain multiple objects such as tables, sequence, indexes, views and stored procedure functions and so on. The next question is why we use schemas. There are several points that why schema should be used. The first one is to separate users or applications within a single database. For example, there are multiple users of this company database, but within that database, all the users cannot access all the schemas if we restrict them. So we'll see uh, how we can uh, do that. Next is to group objects logically for better manageability. So we can group the objects within different different schema based on our requirement specifications. The next is to prevent the naming conflicts in shared databases. For example, say one application is using the company databases and also the Postgres databases. So how we can prevent the naming convention so we can achieve that using the schemas. Now let's see how we can create schema. To create schema, we use the create schema command. The syntax is simple, create schema, then the schema name. Now we'll create one schema called sales for our example. The schema called sales is created within the company databases because if you see the connection is made through the company database. Now I will refresh it to see. Okay, here we can see the sales schema is created. But uh, if I expand anything, there would be no object because we just created, created the schema and there is no object within the schema. So let's see how we can create objects within the schema. So objects like tables or any other objects that can be created inside schema using the qualified names. Qualified names is determined as schema name dot the object name. For example, the schema dot table name. So let's uh, create a table called customers within the sales schema. So for that, we write this create table command. How we do that? Then first we mention the schema name then dot then the customer name that means the customer table belongs to the sales schema so the uh, table is created if uh, we refresh this we will get it so now let's see what is public schema in postgresql so as we saw that whenever a database is created it creates a default schema public with itself so whenever we create objects but we don't define the schema name so by default all the objects will be created within the public schema so for example if i create this table called products and i don't mention any schema for example here sales so it will create other table within the public schema not in the sales schema so we have created the table and also this is equivalent if we uh, mention the public dot uh, the table name that will also works so uh, we have created two tables within the public schema we can verify that so within the table section let me refresh it uh, here are the two tables that uh, we created so one was created with the schema name and it one was created without naming the schema so by default the tables will be created within the public schema if the schema name is not mentioned so to overcome this situation that when we don't mention the schema name and the object gets created within the 
public schema so we have a concept of search path in postgresql database so what is it the search path determines the order in which schemas are checked when referencing unqualified object names so uh, whenever i just mention that whenever we create any object or we refer to any object if we don't mention the schema name the by default search will be within the public schema so how we can see that so the default search path is user then comma public so first it will search within the user defined schema that whatever user set the search path and then it will search within the public schema so how we can see the search path so for that we follow this command so then the search path search underscore path so let me execute this query to see what is the current search path so the current search path as you can see here it is user comma public so let's see if i query this table from this search path what is the result we get so it says that the table customer doesn't exist because we know the search path is within the public schema and we have created the table customers within the sales schema so the thing is we need to set the custom search path so for that we follow this command called set then the search path keyword then the keyword to then the schema whatever schema we want to give and then it is optional if we mention public or not so let's uh, set the search path to sales schema so now if we go and query for the customers table it should not say that the relation does not exist because it will search from the search path where we have set we, and we can see the current search path as well so current search path is the sales then public so first it will search within the sales schema and then it will go to the public so let's query that table uh, customers now we should get the result since we don't have inserted any data we should get the blank result but it will return the result as we have set the search path and also we can revert the search path as well we can revert the search path for that we can set it to public again so set search path to then public schema then we can verify if the set search path has executed or not so the current search path is changed to public so now let's see how we can use this search path concept for object creation so if we don't mention any schema name then the uh, then the object will be created within the first schema that is set within the search path so to see now let's uh, do one thing we set the search path to sales the table customers too will create within the sales schema but we don't mention any schema name because we know the search path is set to sales schema so the table should be created within the sales schema so the table is created and we can verify that as well so within the sales table if i refresh the table section i should get the another table called customers too that we just created now and if i query that table the data will also be fetched from the sales schema because we know to access the data as well we need to set the search path so if i query the query return no data but still it was searching from the sales schema so let's see how we can restrict the access with schemas schemas can be owned by specific user so how can we do it so for that we follow the syntax create schema then schema name then we add the keyword authorization then the username whatever the username uh, we want to give the authorization so the example is this create schema called a demo schema and the authorization will be my user role so if you see here in the roles section i have created one role called my user role so if i create this schema with uh, this user that means whatever the objects are created the owner will be this user called my user role so to verify who is the owner of the schema we can right click on the schema name and then go to the properties within the properties you can see the owner is my user role because i have given the authorization to this user role now let's see what is reserved schema names so there are some schema names that are reserved for internal purposes of postgresql mostly they starts with pg and underscore then 
the schema name so we should avoid creating schemas with such names because it may be conflicting with the internal schemas of postgresql database so in this video we have seen the basics of postgresql schemas how we can create and access it and what search path means and how we can use that so in the next video we'll cover the advanced topics of postgresql schemas so if the video was helpful do like the video and subscribe the channel to get the notifications for upcoming videos so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye